Hey there, my name is Grenville and this is Fascinating Unasked Questions. Today we're going to be asking, what if we have 3D, 4D and 5D souls right here on Earth at the very same time and is one dimension any better than another? A 5D person is no better than a third dimensional person. Being 5D just means that we've mastered the 3D lessons of ego and materialism and mastered the 4D lessons of compassion and service. 5D lessons are about truth, knowing, speaking and being truth. In other words, in 5D, we anchor the light. 6D souls integrate 3D, 4D and 5D aspects in an alternate timeline. On an interesting side note, 5D and 6D souls tend to have white auras because they've mastered the lower chakras. We'll come back to this in more detail later. Most likely, there'll end up being a new timeline created with a 5D version of human society to get away from this crazy ass version of Earth that we're in right now. This is because souls are not going to want to incarnate into such a perverse dystopia. Dystopia is described as an imagined state or society in which there is great suffering or injustice. Typically, one that is totalitarian or post-apocalyptic. Does that sound very familiar to where we are headed? The service to self deep state will be left with just running themselves and AI robots. There won't be any souls for them to abuse because God will move us to the better 5D timeline and then eventually shut down this shitty one. Souls are created as blank slates and each one needs to gain knowledge, ability and vibration in order to progress until eventually we serve the higher realms. The earth realm is about growing souls. It doesn't matter whether we're 3D, 4D or 5D. If the environment is not right or conducive to growing souls, then there will be no more influx of souls. Souls will end up getting their 3D lessons and experiences somewhere else. This is what the service to self elite fail to recognize and God always gets what he wants. There are seven main chakras and seven layers to the body's aura. Each layer uses a chakra. We discuss chakras in more detail in another video. Let's be clear, one level is not better or higher than another. They're just different and handle different aspects of our being. That being said, they're still handled in the 3D, 4D, 5D sequence because they associate with the chakra system, each of which is a higher vibration than the one below as it's located in the body. Mastering truth in 5D is no more important than mastering compassion in 4D. I should touch on this now. But we'll go into this in more detail later in the video. 3D is about ego and caring for self, the third or solar plexus chakra. 4D is about compassion, the fourth or heart chakra. 5D is about truth and knowledge, the fifth and throat chakra. 6D is about integrating 3D, 4D and 5D, the sixth or brow chakra. 7D is about completion and ascension, the seventh or crown chakra. So, 5D is neither a place nor a higher dimension. Yet, it's a level of awareness, a mindset that's more light than it is dark, or putting it another way, more truth than false beliefs. In 3D, we're dimensionally stuck in the third chakra. We see the world as it affects just ourself. Power trips and ego are empowered in 3D. We're very service to self, self-righteous, self-centered, competitive. We seek security. We're materialistic, controlling and reactive. 3D is the majority of humankind on the earth realm and that's what we're here to learn from and to overcome. 4D is transitioning from ego-based to an awareness that we are not our body and we begin to purge false beliefs and forgive others. This is the chakra of the heart and compassion. In 4D, we are part service to self and part service to others. 
We begin to open up and tune into spiritual things which raises our frequency and vibration. In 5D, we've mastered the lessons of the third and fourth chakras. We're no longer driven by ego or heart issues. We're about service to others. We see that we're all connected. We're all as one and we begin to connect consciously with our higher self. We learn truth and develop the courage to speak it even if others don't like it. 5D are intuitive and maybe clairvoyant. We sense that the whole is a special created environment and have respect for other people, animals and all of life on earth. In 5D, we're capable of and express unconditional love. We feel a sense of gratitude for all. We're fearless, self-realized and trust in order to go with the flow. As with 3D and 4D, 5D is a range of vibrations. There's a low 5D and a high 5D. Lower 5D souls may experience slips back to upper 4D when faced with stress, illness or disaster. With awareness, we can also regain composure, focus and recenter ourselves back to lower 5D. It's worth remembering that 3D, 4D and 5D are all here on Earth at the very same time. When our soul is higher 5D, we're almost ready to graduate to 6D and can manifest things, heal others and get insights into future events. 6D is about integrating our lessons learned from 3D Ego, 4D Heart and 5D Truth. When this is done, our soul can move into new experiences in the multiverse or be very productive assisting other younger souls in the spirit world. We shall talk more about the spirit world in another video. Most masters are 7D. If this got you thinking, take a look at Sentinels of Light by TJ Heglin. I shall leave a link for it in the description of this video. You can find more of our videos on the news tab at fairywood.ca. We're all on the journey to evolve into a more worthwhile state of being. And if you're serious about doing your inner work and genuinely need help, please do get in touch. These are very exciting times and Fairywood is here to bring hope and assist those who wish to graduate out of 3D Earth and transition to 5D. We even host a variety of workshop retreats dedicated to inner work in order to give you the experience of 5D too. These are not for the faint hearted. Whether you realize it yet or not, you are the one that you've been waiting for. You just don't realize who you are and what you're capable of yet. And that's how we can help. See you on the next one. And remember, the sun always comes out after the rain. So make way, because the light must shine.